Good morning. Today we are at the El Dorado Estates Manufactured Housing Community in Apache Junction. And we are here with Harold and Laura and Oakley and Bailey. And we are in a beautiful home that they just listed with us to sell. And we're going to find out a little bit about the home and also the people that are selling it. So I um, wanted to ask you guys, uh, where, what part of Canada are you from? We're from Edmonton, Alberta. Okay, great. And you're just down here for a little bit, and you've already cleared out your personal items, and yeah. this home is going to be ready for possession. It is. It's Everything's here that they need to start off with, and we've just taken out our personal stuff. So. Okay, great. And so how long have you been coming to Arizona? Since 2000. And what brought you out here? The sun? The sun and golf. Uh-huh. So, um, pool. The pool. Bingo. Yeah, that's great. So, um... What is the reason that you, you guys have decided to sell? Well, the cost of health insurance. Once you turn 80, it gets to a point where if you have any health issues, it's just too expensive to come down anymore. Yeah. Especially when it's like health insurance is insurance. It's uh, nothing you use. It's just kind of something you wouldn't dare come down without. So it's kind of a waste of 10 grand. <laughs> yeah. And how long have you owned this particular property? Since 2003. Okay, great. And is this the only place you've ever owned in Arizona? Yeah. Yeah. We rented for a couple of years first and looked around and as we saw this one, the lady was still here and it was all dark, but she had the front kitchen and it was a kitchen to die for. <laughs> yeah, it is a beautiful front kitchen. And um, so as we go through the home, then um, you can kind of show me some of the improvements and upgrades. I can say that this, this is an immaculate home. Well, Done a great job. Yeah, thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to share with the viewers? Uh, just as we walk through, maybe I'll show them the good points. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. And so why don't we go ahead and do that? Alrighty. All right. If I change my mind, I want to buy this place back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll let it, you're on video saying that. We're going to hold you to it. Okay, where do you want to start? Okay, let's start in the kitchen. Oh, my kitchen. Yes. Um, I just love it. I've got double ovens and a smooth top stove and while well, they're only, they are two years old, they've only been used for six months and I wish there was some way I could have room at home for double ovens but yeah. I just don't so. And it has a nice desk and you can set, either use it for a writing desk or a computer desk. Nice front kitchen. Oh yeah, that is nice. Yeah, nice front kitchen. So. Um, and this home does face east also, so yeah. it does get the morning sun. We can see Superstition Mountain outside this side of the window. Okay, <laughs> all right. And, and then that looks like some additional storage it in is. there. Would it's you mind a, opening that up for us? It's a pantry. Um, I've just put all uh, the appliances. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And that's got the shelving on the doors, too. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, I couldn't live without that. <laughs> <laughs> great. And... Um, Go ahead and now you said uh, that the eye level range is only two years old, but it's really you've only used it six months. The total of about six months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's beautiful. I love a smooth top. Yeah, and that's yeah. a nice island kitchen. Now, is it there is. storage underneath that as well? Yes, there is. There's pots and pans and um, whatnot underneath there. Oh yeah, and are those going to stay? Yep. So are, are all the furnishings that we see today pretty much going to stay with the home? Absolutely everything, yeah, okay. that you see today stays. And then we have this extra storage area, extra kind of buffet storage, area here. Extra storage under here that's full of dishes and odds and ends. Margarita glasses, everybody <laughs> likes margaritas. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Lots of that. And a set of Christmas dishes. Um, I always went a little bit out because we were by ourselves. So, And up here we have... Um, even more storage and that's oh that's great christmas glasses up in there uh-huh okay now this is also on um, this uh area is vented right so that's yes, vented through the roof yep. okay yep, vented through the roof and the roof is metal with styrofoam and metal again i think and we, we nice, were going to call that a sandwich oh roof, it's huh? a nice <laughs> roof we don't have to go painting it and fixing it up or anything it's just absolutely beautiful Heart, Hardwood floors are uh, we put in ourselves. Took out the carpeting. Yeah, and I want to show that that tile detail oh, also. Yeah. <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah. How about the dishes? Show them the yeah, dishes. there's a full cupboard of dishes here as well. 
Oh yeah, matching even. Yeah, there's uh, <laughs> regular dishes and then what I call good dishes, which were here when we came, but a set of four isn't enough. Great, and then you have the dishwasher, dishwasher as well. Dishwasher, yeah. And then uh, lots of cupboard space and dishes underneath here as well. Wow, yeah, you're leaving quite a bit. Well, there's no need for it at home. <laughs> yeah, don't need two of everything. No, I sure don't, so. And the living room is nice. We could do. Microwave, yeah. yeah. It's a nice one. You could probably set up chairs and say maybe eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. breakfast yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. It's got an area for, for yeah. Uh, yeah. bar stools or whatever. So, mm -hmm. And the gentleman that owned it before us built in a, a closet at the front door, mm -hmm. which is really, really nice. That is nice to yeah. have a coat closet. A lot of people don't have anything like that at all. Mm -hmm. so, uh, now, I noticed that you also have like the faux wood blinds um, yes. yeah. on all the windows. Yeah. There and there's sunscreens on the and front sunscreens. as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, great. And the sides, um, we don't need any sunscreens on the sides because the the um, patio overhangs cover keep it nicely shaded. Mm -hmm. So when we have the patio on the south, when it's nice and cool down here in the winter, <coughs> and you park on the north, and it keeps your truck out of the sun. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's a good so feature. You're, yeah, you're not going to have uh, the TV stays, all the lamps stay. Okay, great. Canadian TV. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, tell us about yeah, that. We've got a satellite dish that's um, satellite. actually aimed right now for Shaw, but Shaw Direct, but um, you can re-aim it at wherever you want. Right. But you have to have the receiver. My receiver's going home, so yeah. the TV stays. Yeah. There's okay. a DVD player and a VHS player in there as well. Okay. Okay. Great. Did you want to focus in on it? Sure, we can look at there. And underneath there. Yep, that's great. And whatever they don't want, they can. Now, is that a sofa sleeper? Yep. Okay, good. So yep. that yep. so you actually have the capability of sleeping about six in here. Yep. Is that right? Yep. Okay. And there's, uh, it makes into a bed. Okay. There's bedding and pillows to go with that up in um, the master bedroom closet. All right, great. Okay. Well, let's go look at the rest of the home. And we come down here. <coughs> Oakley's showing us too. <laughs> this would be the uh, spare bedroom. This and I there. have linen up in here. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, vacuum cleaner stays. There's extra bags for the vacuum cleaner. Okay. And it's got a little chest of drawers yeah, here. Yeah, nice, nice furniture. The furniture's in really good condition. I, um, I have two drawers of linen in here. These are all tablecloths. <laughs> Some of them I use for the patio tables outside. Okay. And this door has got is nothing but um, placemats for the for the front table. Okay. Okay. And is this a queen bed? No. Just it's a, a double? double. Okay. This is just a double. Okay. Yeah. This is new flooring that I put down. It is a ceramic top, but is it a it is a composite tile, so it will not crack or anything. It'll move along with the trailer. You know, like if it shifts a little bit or whatever, it's not going to crack and break on you. Hmm. This is the furnace area, washer, dryer, lots of storage in here as well. Mm -hmm. And what you see all stays. <laughs> okay, great. And there as well, some extra light bulbs. And into here is the bathroom. And um, it's got a walk-in, a walk-in bathtub, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice. Yeah. You know. So it was a tub, but it was converted to a shower, which makes it yeah. a lower profile, easier to get in and yeah, out. Yeah, it's easy for seniors uh -huh. to get in and out of. Yep. And it's a shower. it's a one-piece unit yeah. too, so yeah. you don't have to worry so about no. the seams. And no. then there's some extra storage over oh, there. Yeah. There's linen here, and I'm leaving all the towels and. Um, I'll just take the liquids and stuff. There's a um, vibe, a thing for I don't know. It's a it's a um, heating pad and there's a scale and there's storage down here as well. Okay. Toilet paper, plungers, lots of storage under here. All the cleaning liquids will stay. Yeah, this property definitely uh, measures up <laughs> to the Canadian standard of clean. That's for sure. Yes, it will be clean. And um, there's storage back behind you here, too. And it's full of towels as well. Great. So. 
and then into the master bedroom. I like the color of the paneling where it is paneled in the house too. It's a little lighter. It's I not kept it dark. that way and I keep it oiled. So um, this is the master bedroom. The bed is a queen size. It's a it's a really really good bed. We have friends that were um, it, that actually own a mattress store, so we got that from them. Wow! Yeah. So um, this is a really good size yes, room, it is. and, and it has the rear bay as well. We have the sunscreens on there as mm -hmm. well. Just pardon me for a second. That's okay. And then it has oh. the nice dresser with the mirror. Um, oh. There's also big wardrobe closet. They can call back. <laughs> That's right. They could have been. They could have been on the video. Yeah, they could. Have. <laughs> so, these two, these two items here. Um, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, and I just leave all my, my clothes. Like I have clothes down here because it's everything's so much cheaper down here. So I just, I have bring only just enough clothes to get me down here, and I have all my clothes here. So. All right, and there's ceiling fans. Ceiling fan, yeah. And this is also how it has the vaulted ceiling rather than the oh, flat is that ceiling. What it is? Yeah, okay. so it's got the higher pitch, which uh, gives it a more spacious feel yeah. inside. Yeah. So, um, no, it's a nice bedroom. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to take us outside? I can. Okay, great. Okay, scoot, scoot. You want to go out the front or the back? The back's great. The back. Okay. Hey, yeah, come on back. It's hot out here. <laughs> I know, it's been really humid this oh. summer. Can't wait for the humidity to go away. So as I said earlier, the uh, truck parks on the north. Yeah. Huh? Did you close the front gate? Did I close the front gate? I think so. Double check. Go yeah. Up. Okay, look out. This opens up for regular use. But this also opens up wow. and you can drive right through. Yeah, or even park a golf cart back here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and it's nice to have a fence, um, not only for the dogs, but for ourselves. Yeah. Okay. As I say, truck parks on the north. We have this patio set up here because when we left uh, a year and a half ago, it was already spring and um, you wanted we wanted the shade. In the wintertime, you can move this set out onto that patio. Okay. So. Yeah, we sit here when it's rainy. <laughs> What's that? We sit here when it's rainy. Yes. Th which is rarely. We normally spend a lot of time outside, but not at this time of year. Yeah. This shed here is mainly just Christmas and odds and ends. Okay. There is a hammock. Okay. The, oh, yeah. The um, hammock is in there, but the attachments are out here. Where do you usually hang the hammock? <laughs> We've never used it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Just kick that off or on. Okay. We'll leave it off. When you come, you can turn it on if you Okay. Can. Everything else will be okay. As long as you turn that one off. Okay. You want yeah. to lock it or? Leave it open for now. Yeah, and the siding is in really good condition. Yeah. It looks like it's got fairly recent paint. Yeah, it does. Okay. It used to be brown and pink. Yeah. <laughs> this is a... System. Just a minute, Harold. This is a palmillo. They're just huge. Do you want to share what a palmillo is? Well, I'm not sure. It's kind of a cross between a grapefruit and an and orange. orange. yeah. So it has a rind that's about that thick. So normally I just peel it like an orange and eat it like an orange. Mm -hmm. It's quite mealy, but it, oh, it, it is very tasty. Okay, great. Yeah. And there's a little blocked-in patio yes. area here, a little yeah. sun patio. So later on, it will be... You want to sit in the sun. You yeah. want to sit in the sun. And there's an umbrella for the table. Okay. No, no it's gone. Oh, it you got broke. rid of the umbrella? It broke, yeah. Okay. Watering system. <coughs> All right. Self-watering system. All right. Yeah, this is good size. Yeah. And it's nice that we back onto the wall. Yeah. And back behind us is uh, a senior center. It's really quiet here. Okay, yeah. great. This is a little orange tree. It's just got one orange on it, but it'll grow. Yep. Um, our original orange tree died. Aww. So, uh, and there's another storage shed. And another storage shed. And we have a... Full of goodies. 
Oh, there's a fridge in here. Oh, okay. Kara, if they wanted to run, all they gotta do is turn it on here, eh? Okay. It's off. Okay. We use that for pump. Okay, but it has lighting and yeah, it's uh, lighting. yeah, and it's got the turbine yeah. and you're leaving some tools as well. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Three sets of golf clubs. Wow. And there's cushions for both sets of chairs. Okay. Oh, uh, nice step ladder. I wish I had at home, but <laughs> oh well. You want a picture of this? Sure. Then get it on done. This is an, and this is really great too that this whole area is actually enclosed. It's all yeah. fenced in, even the patio area. So it's yeah. not just one back area. Here you are. Okay, yeah, I'll come back around here in a, just a second. I just want to give the viewers a view of the front of the house and then I will come back. Come on, boys. You want to go in the house? It's nice and cool. This home is absolutely beautiful immaculate nicely furnished um, it has front and rear bays and like they said it does have uh, like a sandwich type of roof so it's got a metal then a foam and then another metal um, which helps with the insulation as well and coated on top of that so you know, I've definitely maintained this home uh, a lot of nice mature cacti uh, this is um, close to the, the end of the south end of the community, so it's a, kind of a cul-de-sac feel on this uh, particular lot, not a lot of traffic. Um, these are some of the homes that are around the property. And we'll go back and take a look at that barbecue. Okay, that is a nice barbecue. <laughs> Needs a lot of cleaning, maybe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a nice one. Okay, great. Yeah. This, this is a fairy duster. Oh, I don't think I've seen one of those before. Yeah, it's it's really beautiful. Fairy duster. You see the little honeybees on there? Yeah. Practice. Yeah, the landscaping is just beautiful. The hummingbird feeder, one third of a cup of sugar. Oh! Fill to the one cup measure with boiling water and let it cool down and then the hummingbirds will come. Oh, thank, you for, basis. thank you for that tip. Yeah. That's great. And you got a little bird feeder down there as well. Okay, great. Well, um, is there anything else you'd like to share with us about the property? Uh, Oh, I want to show you how to turn that water off and on. Okay. I don't think we should leave it on. Yes. Right here, Kara. No one here? Okay. That's off. Okay. That's on. All right, and you have I'll a timer? Leave that in. Yeah, I put a new timer on. Okay, so does it have a watering system? Yeah, yeah it waters all the plants. Oh, that's great. I got it set for every third day for 15 minutes. Okay. All right. For all our Canadian friends, that's an asparagus fern growing outside. Oh, really? And, um,. Did you bring that here from Canada? No, no, I brought that down here. <laughs> uh, and your Christmas poinsettia, you can set outdoors and enjoy it. <laughs> and you do celebrate Christmas the yeah, same we day. we do the same day. <laughs> and we celebrate Thanksgiving for the same reason that the Americans do. <laughs> yeah, well, we're so grateful for our Canadian friends, and we're glad that you visited us here in Arizona, and we wish you safe oh, travels home. And then um, we also... Harold and I celebrate Ukrainian Christmas on January the 7th just to keep everybody down here totally confused. <laughs> <laughs> That's a first. I didn't know about that. Oh, Ukrainian Christmas on January the 7th. Okay, okay. great. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome, Karen. All right. Thank All right. you.